Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our admins who received this message. Uh, the message, it reads like this. Hello, how are you? Can you please post my own story? is anonymous i never thought that i'll end up in a situation like this but i guess that life is a strange way of unfolding it all started a few years ago when i was just struggling to make ends meet i had just finished my studies but jobs were hard to come by i was juggling part-time gigs trying to survive here in johannesburg when i met this other guy so this guy is a foreign guy. I do not want to mention the name from where he comes from. So I was working at McDonald's and at the same time, I was trying to continue with my college education. When I met this foreign guy, at first, I did not pay much attention to him. But what I noticed was that whenever he would come to the restaurant, you would see that this guy he is fully loaded. And maybe he was trying to make me jealous, like he would bring these very beautiful women. And I started feeling jealous whenever I would be serving him. And then there was this other time when he brought his other friend. So I became a friend with his friend. That was when I was invited at this other party, it was being hosted in Centon. I went there and we ended up talking. He was someone who was charming, well-spoken and respectful. He was different from our local guys, the ones that I usually dated. Well, we exchanged numbers and soon enough, he started calling me, checking on me and inviting me out for coffee or lunch. And one thing that he was specific about was making sure that I always had my lunch money and he had a way of making me feel special, like I was the only person in the room. He was generous too, and I won't lie. Being with him felt like a break from my financial stress. He would spoil me, buying me nice things and always paying the bills wherever we went. It was not long before he started giving me money, more than I had ever seen all at once. At first I was hesitant to accept, but he made it seem like it was nothing and he would be like, you deserve it. And each and every time when I would speak with him, you will be like, baby girl, with the way that you are beautiful, you, I think that you deserve all of my money. Before I knew it, I was heavily relying on him financially, so there was a time when my mom was sick. I then spoke with him and I then told him that I wanted him to borrow me some money. He then came and he picked up my mom. We then went to this other doctor of his, a private doctor, and my mom started receiving a treatment there. After that, we then went to a private hospital and he paid the bills and it was a lot. You know how much he had to pay for my mom to stay at that hospital for only two nights. This man, to show that he loved me, he paid more than 48k in cash since my mom was not on, on, on any medical aid, so he had to pay for cash. When this man paid this money, I saw him as he was swiping whilst he was paying and I said, finally, I have met a man that loves me because at that time I had not even slept with him yet, but he was already taking care of me. Even my mom, when she recovered, my mom was like, this man, you should not throw him away because it seems as if he really loves you. So each and every time when I would ask him about uh, wanting to buy something, if he had any cash, instead of sending me maybe like 100 rand, he would transfer large sums of money into my account. And then he had this ab habit of, trans of transferring the money into the account without even telling me just surprising me with a bank notification. Then my friends noticed because one thing about money is that even if you are not using your expensive lotion and whatnot, the moment that you start to have money, when you are dating a man that has money, you will have this natural glow. You will be glowing. And my friends, they were asking me about this guy and I told them and they were really happy for me. They did not know the half of it though. Whilst I thought that I had struck gold with my foreign guy, it was the only beginning of something that was far much more dangerous that, than I could ever imagined. 
And this man, he then took me out for shopping. When we went there, Brother Nanshi, he made me to buy anything that I wanted. So after he had made me to buy anything that I wanted, and that was when he just placed the receipt in the shopping bag. Later on, when I was at my friend's house, whilst we were busy trying out the clothes, that was when she saw the receipt. She was like, Chomi, just look at this. She handed over the receipt to me and we were like shouting because the amount of the money that I had used on my shopping spree when, when I had went out with him, it was close to 12 K that was how much we had spent and this was a shopping spree for only about two and a half hours and mind you we had not yet slept with each other and I was like yo where have I been all this while with all of these foreign guys that are around I should have gotten myself one maybe I could be wealthy by now even my friend she was even saying that it is high time to me that I find myself a guy who is also from his country can you try to find one for me then that was when it was my birthday so he had once taken me to this car dealership so it was like i just want you to check out the cars so we were going around and he was like i was supposed to help him out to get a car for his brother's wife so he was like since you are a woman and she's a woman i want you to choose and to pretend as if it is you who wants to buy a car so i then chose this other mercedes-benz so later on when he hosted a birthday party for me my mom knew about this surprise when he took me out to do my hair when we returned back that was when i saw that there was a car a brand new car that was standing in the driveway and i started shouting and i shouted out of joy because i knew that this car it belonged to me it was the same model the same color the one that i had chosen thinking that i was choosing this car for his brother's wife this man i told him that even though he had been avoiding to be intimate with him but he, this night I wanted to be intimate with so I told him that even though for a very long time he had been avoiding to be intimate with me but on that night because he had bought for me a beautiful car as a birthday present I was willing to give it to him he said it is okay so we then went on a joyride we drove and we drove until we then went to a hotel which did not uh, really feel nice for me because I wanted to give it to him at his mansion. But he said, no, it will be more special. Let us go to a hotel. We then went to a hotel where we ended up spending a night. But one thing that bothered me was that whilst we were at the hotel, I then found out that he had a lot of people that he was chatting with, your women, your men, and most of these men, they were Arab guys that he was talking with.